Hey guys, welcome back to Weird Flex. As you can see, today is a My Hero type of day. I'm chilling here with Deku and Bakugo. So, what are we going to do today? Today we're going to take a look at the most recent My Hero Academia Funko Pops that I could get my hands on. So, without all the further blah blah blah, let's get into it. So, we're going to start off here with Shigaraki and the Glow in the Dark Deku. So, this is... Shigaraki, he is uh, a part of the League of Villains. Um, his quirk is basically decay. He can get his hands on you and then start making you decay and just die. Uh, he's pretty cool. Um, I'm super excited to see more of him also in Season 4. Where Shout out to Season 4. It started last week. Tomorrow is Episode 2. I'm excited for it. Episode 1 was basically just a recap video. But I'm super excited pumped that that reporter guy did not spill any beans about Deku so that's perfect so yeah one thing about this guy when he gets super stressed he starts scratching his neck like a just like a creep and that kind of reminds me of Tyrone Biggums if you know who Tyrone Biggums is leave a comment in the comment section below so yeah that is Shigaraki now this one this one came out a little bit uh, of a while ago but uh, it's still one of the newer ones it's pretty cool it's Deku. It's from uh, Entertainment Earth. It's a Glow in the Dark Entertainment Earth exclusive, which is pretty cool. Um, that you can see like the power that's coursing through his veins uh, on his face. They glow. Pretty cool. All right. Next up is another Deku and Teacher All Might. So basically, this is Izuku Midoriya, also known as Deku. Uh, who was born quirkless, but uh, All Might handed down his power. So he's uh, basically learning to control this power he was just gifted by All Might. And uh, so this is him in his full battle suit with the helmet and everything, as you can see. Look like he's smiling, huh? <laughs> but yeah, this one, um, when the new line came out and all the other ones released, this one was kind of held back a little bit. I wonder why. But uh, yeah, guys, that's Deku. And this is Teacher All Might. Nothing special about this one, just All Might in a, a suit, a yellow suit. All right, moving on. We have Momo Yayurozu, and we have uh, Kirishima, aka Red Riot. So, Momo basically, her, uh, her quirk is uh, she can create stuff from her body. Her uh, hero name is Kriati, and uh, she's pretty cool. She uh, has a really cool quirk. Um, her outfit is kind of provocative, but hey, that's anime for you. <laughs> and uh, let's see, Red Riot. He's pretty cool. He can uh, make his body like hard, like rock, and he can use that to his advantage. I really like his uh, his his uh, hero uniform. He kind of looks like a little devil with red horns. What do you guys think? All right, next up we have we have Tokoyami, aka Birdhead, <laughs> and we have Silver Age All Might. So Tokoyami, his quirk is he has uh, this like dark shadow that he can control, and the darker it is, the darker it is outside, uh, the po more powerful he is, but also the less control he has over it. Which is, you know, it's like a win and lose situation. But he's learning. He's really learning. One thing about this one, there's another coming out. It's a metallic version. And it's going to be in a pop and tea bundle, which is pretty awesome. Guys, if you want that, make sure you head to GameStop and pre-order. You can also pre-order online. Next up is Silver Age All Might sliding in your DMs. <laughs> this, uh, this was a funny episode. Uh, it was a... I really like how Funko captures those like those special moments like not a lot of people may remember or recognize but uh, this was a, a funny moment one thing about this one there is a metallic version of this one as well that's coming out uh, pretty soon uh, releasing at box not box lunch releasing at Barnes and Noble nobody knows when they're coming out but right now for some reason it's already priced at $250 crazy but uh, 
it's pretty cool i just noticed that this one is 607 and this is 608 they're right next to each other in the line and they're both have metallic versions of each other interesting next up we have two other villains we got the main og triple og villain right here all for one and this dude he is hardcore his power is basically anything he can he can take other people's power and use them against them which is like it's pretty cool once you think about it but uh he he's a bad guy he's a super bad guy he's like the head of the league of villains and uh he has no like actual face it's kind of like really creepy <laughs> but yeah that's that's all for one and here we go we have toga i was really waiting on this one this is the last one that i received I actually received this just today from big bad toy store uh, but yeah toga she's i think she's a lot of every, a lot of people's favorite villain because she's so like quirky and it's just she's a real in interesting character but uh yeah so that's off one and toga moving right along next up we have these two awesome villains that were released at new york comic con that just passed we have dobby and we have hero killer stain these two are freaking awesome so yeah they were new york comic con exclusives that just released and hero killer stain is by far the most highly anticipated villain to get made and funko granted a lot of wishes um as you can tell the sculpt on this thing is freaking amazing you can see his tongue hanging out because his tongue is a part of his quirk once he gets a taste of your blood he got you in his grips he can control you which is uh it's pretty crazy man but um I'm loving it. Hero Killer Stain, guys. And Dobby. Dobby's also pretty cool. I'm hoping to see more of Dobby in Season 4. Alright, last up, I have this super special uh, Funko Pop from Funimation. Uh, it's super sexy, guys. Take a look at that. It's the 25th Anniversary Chrome All Might from Funimation. They also released this at New York Comic Con. Take a look at the box. So it's black matte with gold accents and spot UV. It's super sexy, guys. This is, has to be my favorite My Hero Academia pop at the moment. <laughs> and I also picked up this All Might uh, pop keychain, which um, they also have a glow in the dark version coming, which is exclusive to Box Lunch and Hot Topic. And they also have a Deku one coming that looks just like his uh, Funko Pop. But yeah, guys, that's about wraps it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I upload new content. And always stay weird and stay flexing. Peace.